How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. We're going to talk about the Beretta M9 and how I have 20,000 rounds to this. I'm going to give you my real world opinion over it. 20,000 rounds is a lot. Specifically, this pistol you see here has 15,000 rounds through it. And I want to talk about the issues that I had with it. Does it live up to the stigma or the amazingness or the terribleness that, you know, news and media and just rumors of the military personnel through their career that it has. Well, I'm going to give you my take on it, as in I have a lot of time with this pistol. And I figured I'd just give you my real world opinion on it. Hey, this is just me, a normal dude, and I'm going to give it to you. So let's dive in. All right, so up front, I'm not gonna give you a history lesson on this thing because I'm assuming you guys already know that or you can go somewhere else to find that information. But in my real world use of this actual pistol, 15,000 rounds, how did I like it? Well, to tell you the truth, I actually really liked it, which is crazy for a lot of people to think because everyone's like, oh, the M18, M17, Glocks, 19 arms, they're all so much better. And it's interesting is because I was kind of forced by the military to get good with this weapon system. And I had, I re originally hated this thing. I really did. When I first got issued, got in the military, I, I owned this before I went to the military because my parents said, hey, if you're gonna be carrying this pistol, you need to be good with it. So they purchased me one, they said, you will train with it. And I didn't like it. I, I, like I did, but I didn't. So it didn't take, it probably took me about two or 3,000 rounds before I got really confident with it and I liked it. And that's just because of the mechanism or the double, actual, double action, kind of single action based setup in it. It's different than a lot of pistols out there. But funny enough, if you train heavily on the double action, in my opinion, it is easier to shoot than it is single action because there's a lot of take up, honestly. So you guys can see it down here. There's a lot of take up. There's a lot of kind of room and whatnot. And I did not like that about it. I liked actually originally shooting it in double action, which is reverse of most people. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. But overall, when I deployed with this weapon system, I was not or I was very confident with it. I wasn't worried that this thing wasn't going to perform like all, you know, some of the Desert Storm people said and like, oh, well, nine millimeter just, you know, continue through people. Well, that's a round issue. That's not a handgun or a pistol issue. That would be, you know, FMJ versus hollow point, which I'm not here to discuss all that, but most of my career, luckily I was in, in an area that I was allowed to carry about 60% of the time hollow points and the rest was ball. And I carried this in a lot of different configurations. Majority of the time, if I was a driver or I was a gunner, I would carry it up on my chest, which I have photos and stuff that I can roll in. I carry it on the side, I carry drop leg, literally all over the place or under the arm concealed in certain things that i did and it worked out very well it's hard to conceal yes um wasn't specifically great for that mission but as a duty pistol it was so 15,000 rounds later with this handgun what was the malfunctions that i saw well stove pipes quite a bit but why and that is because of the recoil spring if you start having issues with this i guarantee it's your extractor or your recoil spring. If you change out your recoil spring, which I have like four or five replacements on this thing, instantly all the problems would go away, mainly because you have to replace those parts. I recently replaced at the 15,000 round mark, locking block and a whole bunch of stuff. I have footage of me replacing it. Um, and no YouTube, that is not modification. That is normal weapons maintenance, which literally has in your disclaimer. But ultimately I replaced all this stuff and now it's awesome working again probably have a ton of videos and footage of showing you that I've actually used this and I enjoy it. Now over the M17 or M18, is it better or worse? Um, it's arguable, honestly. It's your opinion. My opinion is I am more confident with the Beretta just because I have more rounds to it. The M18, I only have about seven or 8,000 rounds right now. This, of course, 20 plus. I'm gonna side with the Beretta a little bit more just because it's I don't know, I'm used to it a little more. And over a decade of carrying it, that's kind of what it comes down to. Benefit is if you pick one of these up on the you know surplus market, there is surplus magazines and parts everywhere because it's a government contract pistol. So you don't have to worry about like wearing things out because it's always going to be there pretty much. So that would be the one benefit. There's holsters for super cheap all over the place because we ditched this and went to the M18, M17 or the 320 program. 
But overall, in my opinion, just a normal common guy in the military doing some once in a while cool things, it is a good pistol and I don't have any issues with it. Now, your opinion may vary and that's fine, but I'm just trying to show you what I've experienced over those 20,000 rounds. I am confident with this and I would continue to use it. And if you have one, continue to use it or upgrade, sell it, whatever you want. It is capable and it will work for you as long as you take care of it, just like everything else here. Take care of it, work on those maintenance, look at the maintenance, how much, like how many rounds you can shoot and that stuff and replace parts. So other than that, that's pretty much all I got to talk about. Definitely if you like, or if you like this kind of stuff, definitely like, subscribe, comment section below. You guys could hate the pistol, like the pistol, whatever. Get in the comments, send it. Um, we have Amazon affiliate links for some stuff. You know, it, it helps channel a little bit, that kind of stuff if you want to. But if you don't want to help the channel, then just keep enjoying the free content. Other than that, y'all have a great day.